What is good, y'all? What is happening? Your boy JJ in the house. Okay, we up, we up, we up, and we stand up, and we positive. So I'm positive, and I always like to encourage and motivate people and inspire people and myself to be better. Okay, to be better, to be a better person, be your highest self. Now, what does that take? What does it take to get to your highest self? It takes drive. It takes will. It takes mental focus. It takes courage. It takes inspiration. It takes leadership. It takes it takes a part of you to get a bigger part of you back to you to get yourself centered and holistic to one being, which you are already. But the idea here is just to become your higher self. OK, your higher self is the best self you have, the best you in the future. All right. Up, up. So I'm my highest. I'm my highest self. Now, at this moment, <laughs> um, I'm my highest self. OK, now there are people that are lower selves. They're being in their lower self. Now, that's the animal side. That's the animal reptilian aggressive uh, unconscious self, um, uh, out of control self, uh, um, how you say, um, uh, responsive, like, like, you know, like, like, like just, just ne neglected self or uncontrolled self or just the lower aspect of yourself where you're just, you're, you're lashing out on everything. You're responding to everything in the environment with a negative outlook and a thought and your feelings upon reality. Now, you cannot be that self. You cannot, you shouldn't be. You can, but you shouldn't dwell on that part of being. You shouldn't dwell on that self, that, that state of being. Now, what you want to do is become your higher self like I am. And you want to motivate. You want to think positive thoughts and think and feel good. You want to be, you want to want to feel good and you want to want it. You want to want it. You you have to want it to feel good, to be better, and to, to have a better state of mind, a better train of thought, a strong thoughts. Good sleep equals strong thought. And you have to take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and you have to love yourself. Love yourself. That's the most important thing. Number one is to love thyself. And the second thing is to honor thyself. And the third thing, these are three tools, is to know thyself. Three, know thyself. Okay? This is what I do. And this is what I am. I'm about what I am. I am what I'm about. I, I am about peace, okay? Don't get me wrong here. I am about peace. And my life has turned out to be some like journey for me because I'm still living in it now. And I'm in this, this whirlwind of peace and love and happiness and a, a tad bit of joy, and it's feeling so comforting. It's feeling like complete. It's feeling almost there to that, that edge where I'm going to just, whoo, whoosha, or whoosha, you know, like just enlightenment or something. I'm going to reach some state of consciousness where I'm just going to be top notch, and I'm just going to be at the top of my line. And so I want you guys to be there because so the number one thing that's important is to love thyself. First and foremost is to know thyself, love thyself, and honor thyself. That's the most important thing you should know as far as your self journey goes into your chakras and your DNA and unlocking your DNA, activating your DNA, and reaching the state of enlightenment through the kundalini and your godhood. All of that's taking place with the black people, with the melanated people. Now, the other race can't do it because they don't have it. They just not. It's just not in them. Yes, they have God in them, but how much God do you have in you? That's the thing. So I'm saying here for the melanated people and also the masses that we have to unify ourselves to be a better people, to unify the, the collective mindset of what we want to have in the future earth and how the earth will be, how the earth will turn out. Because I know for a fact that Donald Trump is going to be the next president. He's going to be a president again. I know for a fact. Now, don't get me wrong here, because I looked at a YouTube video and I saw this guy that was a time traveler and said, Donald Trump will be the next president in 20, 
20 or whatever the date was, 2021 or something. Now, then after that, it will be the granddaughter of Martin Luther King. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> like, I'm going to see this happen. But also, I want to know exactly why it's happening. And um, there's always a reason behind everything. There is. And if you just go about life and saying, oh, shit, man, that's fucked up. Damn, fuck. I got my credit card off, my wallet and shit. What the fuck is going on? Everything happens for a reason. See, I gained from finding someone's wallet. Now, they lost their wallet. I found it. They had money in it. Now, I gained from it because I'm doing better with myself. And somehow, it happened for a reason that way. All right? Now, I bought a lot of stuff. I got some shoes. You know, I got some, some clothes and stuff. So, I'm feeling good about myself. Also, with my clothes and my finances is, is okay um, right now. But what you want to get to in your point of, in the point of your life, you want to get to a happiness state. You want to become happy. You want to feel happy. And you want to be glad. And you want to feel joy. You want to feel joy and peace and love and bliss, ecstasy, excitement. You got to feel these emotions in the human experience. Because if you don't, it'll be incomplete. All right? Everybody got to go through the experience of joy and happiness and love. Everybody got to do it. I, hey, everybody got to do it, okay? You're not the only one. I've experienced it already. I'm still doing it now. I feel it now. And it's a it's a serene peace. It's smooth. It's soothing. It's like it's like rubbing rubbing your hands, just just rubbing them so softly. And you're feeling the 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 the, the motion and the, the feeling the, the touch of your hands. And you're just you're just so gentle. It's just feeling like that inside of me. And I know I can just walk through the world just like that. Because once you love yourself, the rest of the shit is easy. It's easy. All right? It's easy as pie. All you got to do is love yourself and love that neighbor, love the world and everything. The rest of it is easy. And then the Godhood will come naturally, come automatic, come straight forward to the point. Now, thank you all for watching this video. That'll be the end of that. I sign off and um, I just want to appreciate, I just, I just appreciate you guys for watching these videos. For the few viewers that are watching these videos, and hopefully there'll be more videos uh, coming out in the future. And uh, more psychic telekinesis videos going out there. Because I'm still training as I uh, work on my energy uh, building. And my, my, my focus and my strength and my mind and my spirit. Now, it's all about... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the spiritual realm. I got to make a video about that because I got some insight on that now. Um, I've been watching Bobby Hammond. And I've been watching Dr. Phil Valentine with the intelligence of the mind, God's language, and all things like that. I've been watching the shit. I've been on it. All right. You got to research. You got to study. And you got to take care of your mind. Your mind, it's a, it's a terrible thing to waste a mind. You can't wait. You shouldn't waste a mind. Your mind is very powerful. You shouldn't waste it. Waste it on stupid shit. So, anyway, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for listening. Your boy's house signing off with another episode. Uh, JJ vlog number. Uh, I, 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 love, I miscount, but I'm going to go ahead and video, you know, go ahead and wrap it up. Thank y'all for watching. Love y'all. Peace and uh, uh, namaste. And uh, I am hot uh, hotel. I am hotel. Peace.